welcome back to the Ocean Photography Awards 2021. My name is Lizzie Daly, thrilled of course to be joined by Will Harrison, editor of Oceanographic magazine for the third instalment of our Winners Film Week. If you've missed these episodes, fear not because you can watch them back on the Ocean Photography Awards Instagram via IGTV. Now Will, one thing mm. we haven't talked about yet is the judges. So mm. tell us more about this brilliant panel. So we're extremely lucky to be working with some of the um, world's leading ocean conservation uh, and wildlife photographers. Um, these guys uh, are working tirelessly out there on the front lines, capturing just sensational um, imagery. World renowned, many yeah. people watching will, will be very aware of their work <laughs> and their skills and their talents. And they are, of course, Paul Nicklin, uh, Christina Mittermeier, Andy Mann, Sean Heinrichs, uh, John Weller. All those five joined us last year, and then this, this year we're delighted to be joined uh, additionally by Amy Vitali and Andre Musgrove. Fantastic panel. Mm. And what was the judging process like this year? Fun, uh, <laughs> fiery, uh, lots of debate. You know, these guys, you know, extremely talented and, and masters of their craft, um, but naturally you get differences of opinion still. Uh, in terms of you know who sees what in particular images. So uh, we all jumped on a big call and essentially just went through the images, everyone threw in their opinions and we just gradually sifted, sifted through until the winners sort of came out the other side. Absolutely brilliant. And of course, for tonight's episode, we are talking about the um, Ocean Exploration Photographer of the Year. Again, a really tough category, but talk us through the qualifications for this. You know, the idea behind this one is, uh, well, much like the other categories as well, it's, it's what exploration means to that individual. So, you know, it can be exploring your local coastline as much as it can be exploring the abyss, the abyss if you're part of a you know, scientific um, expedition. Um, so it's down to the photographer, firstly, and then once they've submitted, that sense of exploration needs to translate across to the judging panel, of course. And again, of course, all those photos have been boiled down to just three. So let's take a look at these finalists. First up, we have this, and this really took, took my breath away, this picture. This was a picture taken by Steve Kovacs in Palm Beach in Florida. It's of a rare deep water cusk eel lava. Take a look at this image. So powerful that yeah. the face of that eel is phenomenal, isn't it? Incredible. I think that these deep water creatures, I think they're almost outer space like, aren't they? So they do naturally invoke that sense of exploration really quite vividly. Steve isn't himself particularly deep while he's taking this photograph, but that sense of the black water, the depth of the ocean, uh, that sense of exploration is um, yeah, really quite acute in this image. It's a stunning shot. A really kind of out of this world creature mm. to see. And I love that they've only been spotted a handful of times as well, which goes to show kind of that whole message of exploration is so, so important. Yeah. Um, next up, we've got an image taken by Matty Smith. Uh, again, a really powerful image. The colors in the squid is uh, phenomenal. Tell us more about this image. Again, I mean, just a staggering shot. The colors in it are phenomenal, as you said. He lay on his back on a sandy seabed and waited for squid to pass over his camera dome uh, just to, right at that moment till the composition was just right and took the shot and it's a staggering staggering image it really pays off and i mm. guess these are the things that the judges are looking for that kind of extra mile that extra step that these yeah. photographers are going to get these images so brilliant image there and we have an image here by Martin Broen, again, a really quite a phenomenal image to look at in that crystal clear water in Mexico in those caves, fantastic. Yeah, I guess much, much like um, the sense of abyss that Steve Kovacs uh, translates with his shot, mm. there's something about cave systems that invoke that sense of exploration uh, within us. You know, these places that humans shouldn't be or we're not really designed to go. Um, and Martins does that with this, with this lovely backlit cave diver, for sure. Well, three very different images there. And if you're watching this, do head to the website www.oceanphotographyawards.com and take a closer look in more detail at each one of those pictures because they are truly stunning, truly outstanding. But of course, there is a winner for this category and the winner of the Ocean Exploration Photographer of the Year is Martin Broen with that fantastic image in that cave system. Here's Martin to tell us a little bit more about it.
I live and work in New York, and during the pandemic, I managed to spend more time in Mexico working remotely, diving two or three times a week. I chose that cave mostly because the beauty of, of the space. It had an amazing symmetry. And the translucency of the water was just perfect. You're pushing the limit of your camera. The dome is designed for shooting an F11, and you're shooting an F4.5. Your speed is one fifteenth of a second handheld because you need to capture light, and there's no light down there. So everything is about understanding how to place the light and how to manage to capture it with your camera in a zero light condition. The exploration component is a very, again, visceral feeling. I mean, you're in places that almost nobody been before. In space that took millennia to form, it got completely preserved for the last six to 8,000 years, and it was just magic. It is amazing, but it's even more amazing to know that cave diving will get promoted, to know that the caves, which are very neglected by the diving community, are going to get some fame. Will, such a worthy winner. What was it about this image that made it stand out to the judges? There's something about cave photography that is, you know, compelling in itself. Compositionally, it's beautifully put together. Um, not just from a, you know, the diver position nicely in the middle of the shot with the, you know, beautifully backlit, but what's going on in the chamber itself, you know, sort of topographically, it's, there's lots of interest there. It's all visible and all those elements come together perfectly. And it's, uh, yeah, perfectly, yeah, yeah. Fascinating shot. Again, a massive congratulations to you, Martin, for that fantastic picture. If you want to take another look at that fantastic cave system, head to www.oceanphotographyawards.com where you can see all of the finalists. It's been such a brilliant journey so far this week. Lots more to come. So make sure you continue to join us every evening as we reveal more winners for each category. And we'll see you again, same time tomorrow.